spiritual life, um, what you may have saw, like, did she go to daily mass, yes. rosary, things like that? You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. She had a very rich spiritual life. Um, she attended mass daily. She attended confession weekly. She prayed the rosary. She prayed the rosary with us. Um, she had her daily reading, the breviary. She did the office of the hours, um, vespers. I have a whole list of what her spiritual practice um, consisted of. I'm sorry, I don't have that with me. But um, yes, she was clearly and firmly <coughs> connected to God. And she often said, if I, was, if I were ever too embarrassed to speak about God, nothing would have been accomplished. And she talked about, you cannot do this kind of work. You cannot see this intense poverty, intense human suffering, without some kind of foundation and, and, and grounding in a spiritual life. So she, she was in constant prayer. She had a lot to pray for, too. I mean, there were so many things going on. Um, she prayed very hard for my brother while he was in Vietnam, and I clearly believe that contributed, contributed to, to his life. She's been declared a servant of God. I think the next step is beatification. It takes a lot of money, which was her objection. Um, the Archdiocese of New York, um, Archbishop uh, Dolan visited us at Mary House recently, so we're hoping to have kind of some kind of a personal relationship with him. And, you know, I have ambivalent feelings about the canonization process, the cost of it, this question of putting someone up on a pedestal. I mean, she, she clearly said, don't, don't dismiss me that easily. We're all called to do this work. So I know that the church, you know, has its reasons. We need saints. We need saints like her. Um, she is someone who lived a full human life. You know, she did things that were that were very painful. Thank you. Before her conversion, and in terms, she you know she herself said, "I've done everything but drug addiction." And so I think that we need someone, a mother, a woman, a grandmother, uh, a woman who struggled with the uh, issues of her time in, in the best way that she could. I think that she would be a great saint. But I have mixed feelings about what the church may or may not include in her story.